Welcome to the very first Floyd Fever. I'm one of your hosts, Mark Lowney. And I'm Colin Wood, and today we're going to be discussing the new weight team and new teachers and more here at Floyd Central. But first, you may have noticed something different going on around the school. The new cell phone policy. It's been on the forefront of all the students' minds. Have the rules always been like this? Like, what's changed? Elizabeth Melton takes a look. Going into the new school year, the school corporation has decided to crack down on the usage of phones during class time. Phones are to remain in backpacks at all times, except during lunch and before and after school. Some students enjoyed the changes the school has decided to make, while other students think that the school is being too strict with the new policy. But why is the school implementing these rules? We talked to Dr. Wilman and Dr. Velker to get their viewpoint on the new approach with the phones. Phones are becoming a large distraction in the classroom. People were in their earbuds in the classroom and they think you know, that when a lecture is going on, teachers teach in class, it's okay to have their phone, the cell phone out. So um, we got together um, with the teachers last spring and decided that this is what we're gonna do this, this fall. The school has provided phone deals that the students put their phones in at the beginning of the class and they take them back at the end of the period. If students decide not to put their phones in the phone deal, their phones are to stay out of sight until the end of the class. In the school handbook, it states students may check their phones during non-instructional time. If the phone is out, then you should take the phone. You should not see it in the classroom at all. Study hall, class, or whatever, unless you've given explicit permission for that phone to be out. That's always been the rule. Um, it's just getting consistent enforcement of the rule among all teachers um, is, is what we're trying to do this year. Technically, during passing period, students aren't supposed to be on their phone, but that's not something that we readily enforce because it's not a disruption to what's going on in the classroom. The rule hasn't always been this way. When handheld phones first started appearing in school, they were banned altogether. No phones were allowed to be at school at any time. But with technology being so prevalent in today's society, Floyd Central had to loosen the restrictions as time passed. We tried to slowly integrate that with, with giving kids the opportunity to do that during lunchtime uh, and then maybe during passing period, but of course it's, that's bled into the instructional, uh, instructional time and become a distraction. Uh, I, I feel like the policies with more teachers requiring students to keep their phones out of sight in the classroom, I think that's better than it was last year. Uh, I think, in my opinion, if I were making the rules, uh, I just wouldn't allow them at all. Floyd Central wants to involve the students as much as possible when it comes to phone regulations. Dr. Wilman says he plans to form a student committee to discuss the topic and to decide if changes should be made. Okay, if it were me, I'd make sure my, my phone's in my bag at all times, and I suggest you do the same, just saying. All right, going on to the new school year, things would get pretty hectic. The school is big, and it can be hard to find your class or to make new friends, especially when you're in the new building. Students are the only ones with this problem. This year, Floyd Central has some new teachers joining the staff. Some of them include Miss Rock and Mr. Alfred. They both teach science classes and are looking forward to their first year teaching at Floyd Central. Um, so I think that my favorite part about teaching has been getting to know the kids um, and I feel like every class has a different personality and it's really interesting throughout the day to go from class to class. My favorite part about teaching is seeing in class full of students who have no idea what's going on, <laughs> explaining some dramatic equation on the board and seeing the light in their eyes just explode like a galaxy when they finally understand the concept we're trying to learn. The new teachers state that they're both enjoying the, the new year with our challenging curriculum and our exceptional students. Mr. Mr. Alfred has also taught in Japan and Miss Rock used to teach at New Albany. Wow, there sure are a lot of changes happening this year. You're right, and speaking of changes, the weight room has been updated recently. Let's check it out. All right. Out of all the clubs and teams of Floyd Central, there is one unlike any other. The 
Away Team is one of the newest additions to the FC Club Library, and is one of the most interesting. The team is headed by Coach Gumbel and consists of some of the strongest students in the school. These students include Hunter Hale, Caleb Rogers, Trace Willman, and more. This is the second year of the weight team's existence, and they have a lot to live up to. This year, they plan to go above and beyond what they did last year, though. I want to hit 350 by summer. What may be helping them the most is the renovations that the new weight room has gone under. They got power blocks, new bands, and more. Uh, it's improved my strength and my mobility. The equipment in the new weight room is truly top-notch stuff. Most of the people on the weight team can be found in an ACP class, which for those of you who don't know, is basically AP Gym. They truly put in their all when it comes to weightlifting. There you have it. If you want to join the weight team, talk to Coach Gumbel. If you really think you can stand up with the rest of the elite. One thing's definitely clear. This weight room and this weight team are going places. Floyd Central has a number of programs like the weight team. Some of them you've probably heard of, but some of them you might not have. Let's take a look at the FCTV Broadcasting Program. Three, two, one, action. Floyd Central's radio TV program is bringing the newest and hottest shows to your school's TV. The school's latest gossip will be brought to light, coming soon for all students to watch. Many students have their own different ideas of what they would like to present to their peers in their latest show ideas. Alright, so how confident are you in your students succeeding? Uh, I'm extremely confident. This is something that should be personal to the students. So uh, the stories that, that they are telling should mean something to them. Um, and, you know, they're telling their friends' stories, uh, telling their neighbors' stories. They're finding all of these awesome things that are happening all around us all the time. And hopefully they get excited about that. And, uh, and because of that excitement, I think that we're going to succeed. There are two different shows, Floyd Fever and The Scoop, both unique in their own ways. Floyd Fever being more of a news broadcast while The Scoop having more of a sports broadcast vibe to it. Oh, hey, I'm, I'm Lucas Hunchman. I'm the director of my classic broadcast. You know, we're working on broadcast here and it's kind of consisting of getting these coaches coming in to the studio room and interviewing them, you know, asking what they do about school. And we also feature, you know, pre-recorded news packages, which is videos that are already made that students fit for a project. Um, really fun, really cool broadcast we're doing here, and we just love it. <laughs> I'm expecting to see a wide variety because this show is unique in the fact that it is pretty much completely student-led. The students get to decide what goes in the show, they decide the format of the show, and they decide the narrative of the show. So whenever the students are deciding what goes in, everyone kind of has a different interest. So you'll see some sports, you'll see some art, you'll see some things that are just kind of unique. You'll see some features on people that the students find interesting. So I'm expecting just kind of a nice variety of a little bit of everything. I think our show can offer something to anybody who wants to watch. No matter what your interests are, I think we can provide something that will entertain you. 
while they are all working in groups, they are all assigned certain roles for the upcoming production. <laughs> I'm actually the director of this broadcast, uh, which is cool. It's kind of the creative control of how it looks. You know, when you're watching the television, you're not really thinking about how it's all put together, but it really wouldn't look the same if it didn't have the director's, you know, choices behind how it looks. So I'm actually pretty excited about bringing these coaches in here and interviewing them so they know what we can do. You know, see radio TV for what they really are. The kids are great, the class is great, and we really work really hard. So I really want these coaches to see that when they come in and get interviewed by us because then uh, it'll make me happy to see their eyes light up, viewing all of us being awesome. What's probably the most exciting about it is the chance for the students to tell stories. Uh, we constantly push the narrative that students are storytellers in every aspect of their lives. So this is another way that they can tell their stories and uh, it should be some really exciting stories because we're taking everything that's happening that's really awesome around the school, around the community, and we are telling those stories. So we're telling stories that matter to the students, to the parents, to the people that just live around here, the people that attend the school. We're taking their stories and we're giving them a spotlight, uh, hopefully creating something that's positive in the world. Hopefully as many people as want to view it, uh, these will go online, but they're also being broadcast once again to our community. So uh, we want to really stretch out beyond just our program. So we want people to be involved in this project. Uh, with the idea being that students and teachers and parents and anyone who is interested uh, sort of gets invested into the idea that we are telling the stories for the community. that work on these shows are expanding their skills while making entertainment for the public. Make sure you stay up to date on these shows to know the latest hot topic at Floyd Central. So we, we covered a lot today and there's been many changes over the summer but change isn't always bad. Let's take Mr. and Mrs. Wobble as an example. Well I'm Colin Wood and I'm Mark Lowney and from all of us here at Floyd Fever have a good day at Floyd Central.